Studies on concussion knowledge and attitudes suggest that male and female have different attitudes towards sports-related concussion, with females being more prone to reporting than concussions. But why is that? A study from 2016 showed that male athletes lied about a concussion to stay in a game about 80% of the time, while female did so 70% of the time. What differentiates the 30% of women and the 20% of men that did not lie about their concussions? A, st a study funded by the Public Health Agency of Canada also assessed Canadian perception and understanding of concussion. This study surveyed about 2,000 Canadian and reports that there are still gapping holes in concussion knowledge. It also suggests that attitudes towards sports may alter concussion recognition, reports, and knowledge. Social and performance pressure around sports tend to be the primary reason youth believe some, someone would hide a concussion. Reason mentioned for hiding a concussion are they don't want to be taken out of the game, they don't want to let down their teammates or their coaches, they don't want to look weak, and they didn't think a concussion was serious enough. Another distressing fact is that only half of the youth uh, currently understand that learning more about concussion or avoiding body contact can prevent concussion. These alarming results show the gaps in knowledge of the Canadian population and warrant further investigation to better understand, especially given the long-term effects and consequences of sustaining multiple brain injuries. As this study covered, as this study covered sorry, many su subjects, it did not evaluate extensively the underlying factors and reasons that affect concussion knowledge, such as anxiety. Evaluating anxiety is important as concussion increases your risk of developing anxiety. This is even more true in women and girls. This lack of deep understanding of attitudes towards concussion among the general Canadian population makes it very difficult to develop um, prevention and education strategies. This research project aims to characterize concussion knowledge among Canadians and associate psychological and social factors such as attitudes towards sports to better understand the problematic and its population. So we aim to create a survey about concussion knowledge and attitude and associated factors amongst Canadians. And in order to do so, we wanted to make sure that we were adequately representing all Canadians, so having available measures in both official languages. Uh, especially so since uh, some studies have reported that French speakers in Canada uh, exhibit lower concussion knowledge. Thus, we needed available, um, validated, and uh, French available measures to bridge the gaps that were identified in concussion knowledge. Fortunately for us, we had available measures that were interesting to us in uh, evaluation of anxiety and peer pressure, but we did not find a French version of sport commitment questionnaire that we wanted to, um, to use. So we decided to take on the translation of the sport commitment questionnaire too, which is the uh, measure that we thought relevant uh, uh, with regard to our um, our survey. Uh, what is interesting about this uh, commitment questionnaire is that it looks at both positive and neg negative commitment to sport, looking at enthusiastic and constrained um, commitment. It overall, it has 88 items, uh, ranging from um, enjoying sports, saying that playing sport is fun, and all the way to uh, I think I think about quit quitting the sports, but I have um, I must keep playing. So, looking at really um, how people are constrained within their sport. So what we did is that we uh, translated in the lab with bilingual members the survey in, um, from French to English. We sent it to bilingual um, scientists, uh, both um, experienced in sport and concussion, so that they would send it back to us in English. Uh, in, in, uh, sorry, in, uh, in English, and then we did a uh, expert panel with uh, pe first people from the general public, researchers in sport, and researchers in concussion, and we came out with a French version of the sport uh, commitment questionnaire, and then we looked at if both versions matched. So we took a small sample of 70 participants with a, uh, a good representation of male and female, and our participant reported having um, excellent French and English written comp comprehension. And overall, we were pretty satisfied with the agreement between our two sections. 
we decided to look at a subgroup of 41 participants that were athletes uh, to see how the construct from the uh, questionnaire were um, being affected by the fact that people might be more involved in sports. Um, and in that set, what we did is we looked at the total score over five to look at the weight of each of this con construct. Luckily, we found that athletes enjoy playing their sports. However, uh, we saw that they report high um, investment and high potential loss if they stop playing their sport. And these are the type of items that we'll be looking for when looking at, looking at associated factors of concussion knowledge in our future study. So we know that some sports or population are more at risk of having concussions. But is it because of the sport or is it because of the person playing it? Is it because of the gender or is it because of the culture around the sport? We want to be able to answer these questions and this is why we uh, created the concussion knowledge and attitude questionnaire. It subdivides in multiple categories. Um, with three sections of question on concussion, one section of demographic question, and three other questionnaires. The first section is concussion and uh, myth and facts. So here we decided to uh, choose to focus on myths that are still believed in the Canadian population. An example of, the, uh, of a question is the harder the hit, the bigger the concussion is going to be. The second uh, section is reporting attitudes. The goal of this section is to evaluate the attitudes of athletes on reporting concussions. Uh, through di these direct questions, we aim to also evaluate the sports commitment and how seriously uh, athletes will take their concussion compared to their sports. So an example of a question is I would report a teammate who has a concussion to a coach or athlete trainer in a practice, in a championship, or in a final. Another section is the knowledge of consequence and long-term effect of concussion. Awareness of these many risks, consequence, and long-term effect of not taking the time to heal from a concussion are not well known. With the new studies showing that long-term effect on the brain of concussion if, um, is evaluating, this aspect is very important. We also believe that if athletes knew about the long-term effect of concussion, they would, hire higher, they ha would have a higher rate of uh, report and it would change their attitudes. Um, the fourth section is demographic. General information and concussion, con sorry, concussion statistics. This section will allow us to calculate gender differences. An example of a question is, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you identify uh, to your gender? Or how many concussions have you had? The next section is the sports commitment questionnaire 2 that we've talked about. The next section is resistance to peer influence questionnaire. We aim to evaluate the concussion between, uh, the connection, sorry, between the resistance to peer influence and the will to report a concussion. An example of a question is, some people go along with their friends just to keep their friends happy. The last section is a self-evaluation questionnaire on anxiety. This is a short questionnaire that will allow us to evaluate the impact of anxiety on concussion attitude and knowledge. It is important to evaluate if anxiety biases the attitude towards concussions. So an example of a question in this section is, I am presently worrying over possible misfortunes. So without further ado, uh, we are happy to announce the launch of the Concussion Knowledge and Attitude Questionnaire. And we would be happy if you would want to participate and share a questionnaire with anyone. Um, it's for the general public, not just athletes or um, researchers. Uh, last but not least, I would like to thank my director for, um, oh, sorry, I would like to thank my director for allowing me to do this project and everyone that has, uh, that has participated in this project. Thank you.